hey y'all and welcome to my channel welcome 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 to be honest to be honest I started this channel about two three years ago but every time I would record a video I would delete it yep I deleted it why you ask I deleted it because it just wasn't good enough in my mind it had to be perfect my hair had to be perfect I needed to have my face beat I needed to have on the right clothes I needed to have the right scenery and background and yeah it wasn't good enough to me but I'm over it I am over it because me trying to be that perfectionist is not getting my message to you it's not starting the conversations that we need to have not at all so you might get me recording in my car like now you might get me recording walking down the street you might get me recording in my room i have no idea but you're gonna get me authentically wherever the mood hits wherever the time allows but i will no longer sit back and hold my thoughts to myself when I know for sure that what I know can help someone that the conversations that I can start and we can have can help someone I know it I know it so again I'm here and you're watching it so you're here with me so we're gonna rock with that we're going to run with that yes we're gonna run with that because I could sit here and complain oh why I shouldn't be in front of this camera that was one of the things too yeah girl you don't need to be in front of the camera mm -mm. keep doing your little podcast you don't have to be in front of the camera they'll hear you over there but I still felt like I was missing someone. There's someone who didn't know about the podcast. There's someone who didn't know that, you know, hey, she's over there. She has some content that can help me. So I missed you. And I'm sorry. But I'm here now. I'm here now that I am and it's gonna be good yes I think so I believe it's gonna be good so okay here we go <sighs> me and my constant complaints <laughs> can't get over it I'm sorry y'all I'm just sitting up thinking about me and my constant complaints on why I would never hit publish on the videos years I would just never ever hit publish and it's like wow so me and my complaints me and my woes you know I know you got some of those too that we all gonna get over me and my fears yeah And I was talking to another content creator and I said to her, I said, um, you know, I really want to actually do something with my YouTube channel because it's just been sitting there. I've never hit published. And she's like, well, yeah, girl, go ahead because you, you have good content and people need to hear what it is you, you want to say. And from today, I would say that was about 
two, two and a half months ago. So yeah, still procrastinated on it. Still do. And normally I'm gun ho when it's business or something that I know could help someone else. I'm gonna I'm all for it. Like let's go, let's go, let's go. It's just me being in front of this camera. They're going to see you. They're going to see you. They're going to see that your hair is not perfect. And your face is not big. And your clothes, you know. Girl, you just be chilling in your clothes. Yeah, they're going to see that. Yeah. Y'all see it? Okay. Hey. All right, moving on. My fears, my fears. We're not going to allow forward movement to me. And considering that I want to help others, my fears are not going to allow forward movement for you. So just, you know, one of those things that I say sometimes. Keisha girl, suck it up and get over it. So that's what I had to do. And that's what I'm doing. Okay? So we're going to attack my fears. And if you have any, your fears. We're going to get rid of those together. Yeah, we are. So I am a mom. Yeah. You did check the title, right? The name of the channel? The Inspired, Empowered Mama. That's right, I'm a mom. I have three kids. Two of them are grown. Well, so they think they are. Yeah, so they think they are. They're beginner and mid-20s. So, yeah. They think they're there, but we all know how that goes. And my baby, my baby, we'll go ahead and say he's 16 because his birthday's in a few days. My baby is 16. So yeah, my mama. And I will share some of that with you. A lot of my experiences come from being a mom or just being in the world in general. Um, you know, it is, it's, it's a lot. It's, it's a lot. Excuse me, it's a lot. Um, but I'll bring a lot of different topics to the table. So it won't just be about motherhood. It'll just be my life in general. And you being a woman or a guy or however we may relate, we'll meet in the middle. We will definitely meet in the middle. And it'll be, I won't say it'll be centered around kids. Not necessarily because, you know, life is what it is. And what I know as a parent is we tend to center ourselves around the kids once we become parents and we just, we lose ourselves. We lose ourselves. And that's one of the things that we need to just tackle and get a handle on because we're more than mom and we're more than dad. And if you're grandma taking care of the kids, we're more, you're more than that. We want to date. We want to dance. We want to, you know, hang out with friends. We want to do all these things and live our lives. Yeah. We want to be financially stable. Some of those things you can't discuss with your kids. Some of those things you can enjoy with your kids. A lot of them you can, but nonetheless, you, you need adult time. You need mama time. You need dad time. You need that time for yourself. So, although I'm a mama, and we'll touch on that, I just want to talk about life. If that's all right with you. I just want to talk about life because sometimes 
just being a parent is overshadowed. So we'll just be normal. One mom to another, one mom to a dad, you know, whatever the case may be. One friend to another. We can do that too. Okay. A lot of my stuff, so in saying that a lot of my stuff will be random. It will be. But hey, I know sometimes you have random thoughts like, oh my goodness, I wish I had somebody to talk about talk to this about with. You know, like, oh my goodness. Yes. Yes. Did you think about that? And did that happen for you? And you're sitting there by yourself and you're looking at your three year old like, um, yeah, well I'll keep that thought to myself. So I get you. I get you. Yeah. Right? <laughs> so we'll oh my goodness. I will say that we might, might cover a little bit of weight loss. But it's just one of my pet peeves. So you'll hear me complain, but you will still, you know, hear me talk about them cupcakes that I baked. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'll be real with you. I'm good at baking. Mm-hmm. So, but I would like to be healthy. And I know that healthy is not always a five zero. So I would like to be healthy. I can't say that I like exercising a lot. I don't really know who does. But, you know, I do like to dance. So maybe we can incorporate that into something. We'll figure it out together. Yeah. We'll figure it all out. And get this channel going and built up for us. Yeah. It'll, yeah. So don't run away because I said we're going to talk about weight loss. We're going to talk about being healthy. So wait, wait, wait. All right? It's going to be cool. It's going to be cool. It's going to be cool. Don't click off or none of that, okay? Because I'm not going to have any kind of workout plans or meal prep schedules or anything like that for the week. That ain't me. It's not. It is not. But if you have a way to make it fun and more interesting for me, then all means, baby, by all means, help your girl out. Okay. Because I'm not against it. It's just, um, yeah. It's time consuming. So I stretch. I walk. Sing. I do attempt to eat healthy though. I really do attempt to eat healthy. But them fresh baked pastries be calling my name. Alright, moving on, moving on, moving on. Alright, alright. We're gonna move on. We're gonna move on. Okay. The channel is comprised of <clears throat> ways that my knowledge and experience can help you or someone you know. Yeah. Because we all know someone, if it's not ourselves, who we can just say, um, look here. It's somebody over there on YouTube that can relate to you so if it's not you you know somebody because I know a lot of times there's stuff that doesn't relate to me at all but I'll take that link or that person's name or whatever and I'll send it to I know who it, they can benefit from it okay yeah so it's just helping as much as possible if not for ourselves, then for someone else. And, you know, in doing that, hopefully we can create some laughter, some fun. 
okay yeah i mean because we don't just always have to just sit here and say okay welcome to my channel and this is how it's going to be for the next 30 minutes blah 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 no we're not gonna do that although i do like to talk i do i'm not gonna lie to you so y'all can leave stuff in the comments topics you want me to cover responses to what i've covered and we'll do it we can do question and answer sessions and stuff like that absolutely because i'm here for you just as well as you're here for me okay all right so we will build a community and a family like yes i need that i need i i need that and in the spirit of transparency i say i need that because again i've literally lived my life i'm one of those people that lived my life with my kids my oldest one, she just made 24. The next one is 20. And again, like I said, my baby is 16. And well, about to be 16. And I lived, like seriously, for them. Every waking breath, even as I attempted to sleep, every move, every job that I did take or didn't take, every place that I chose to live, every friend that I attempted to have, everything I did, I literally did for my kids. So of course I could help you with that, but I also want to be able to get out and broaden my horizons be able to build new friendships be able to build a community because sometimes the one you kind of stuck in not really the one you want to be in right i know some of you you got all right y'all like i stated in the beginning i used to be so darn fearful like seriously just fearful but I'm inspired y'all I'm so inspired because that fear of being in front of the camera that fear of sharing my knowledge and experience with you all like you know why why would they even want to listen to me? Really, why would they even want to acknowledge my existence, to be honest with you? But it's cool. Absolutely. All it took was a change in mindset. A change in mindset was all it took. Just change just a little bit. We have to do that. I'm a crybaby too, y'all. I want to let y'all know that straight out the door. I didn't used to cry a lot. I used to hold it in because I know you'll hear men say that crying was a sign of weakness. Where I came from, crying was a sign of weakness, whether you man or, or woman. But I cried. I cry a lot. So, just in case y'all see some tears, they're authentic. And it's okay. I just brought that up and got to suck a few of them back, but it's okay. But again, I am inspired. I am inspired to encourage you. I am... <clears throat> empowered i am empowered through my inspiration to share what it is i know with you and the rest of the world i am 
I am empowered to create this community, this family, this friendship. I am empowered and inspired to send you light and love. Because we all need it. Especially in the times that we're in. Light and love is such a wonderful thing. So I'll try to do my best to say it to you all the time. I am empowered to let you know that if you haven't heard it today, if you didn't hear it yesterday, or the day before that, but you know, you know that deep down in your heart, you tried your best. That's all that matters. You know you tried your best. I don't care what the neighbor said, what the teacher said, hell, what your grown ass kids said when you sitting up trying to chastise them and letting them know that their behavior is not acceptable. You tried your best. In your heart, you know it was your best. And that's all that matters. Your best is and will always be good enough. And baby, don't you let nobody tell you no different. Okay. Till next time.